everybody my name is hannah and this is pepper and pine and i have a geometry tutorial to share with you today we have been highly inspired by this book called drawing circle images during our waldorf main lesson block on geometry and today we're going to work on 10 fold symmetry i'm using my fabriano hot press 90 pound watercolor paper it has a nice smooth finish and the first thing i'm going to do is eyeball the center of the page Next, I've set my radius to 4.3 centimeters, and I'll start by drawing that circle right in the center of the page. Next, we're going to take our straight edge, and we're going to draw our diameter right through the circle. Next, I've got my compass that's a little bit larger than my previous one, and I'm going to draw two arcs on the top and the bottom of the circle using those two points from the diameter as the point where I put my compass. Then I can use my straight edge and connect those two points together and this way we have done a four division of a circle. I'm going to erase those extra marks from now. There are going to be a lot of things we have to erase for this particular uh, design. Next we're going to reset our compass so that it's the same radius as the original circle and we've drawn an arc and where those two arcs meet our circle we're going to draw a line. Next, we're going to set our radius so that it's where those two lines meet all the way up to the top of the diameter, and we're going to draw an arc. Then where that arc crosses the diameter all the way up to the very top of the circle is going to be our new radius, and that's going to be our five division of a circle. So we're going to go around the circle and make sure that we have five equal spacings. I'm going to erase all the extra markings because we don't need them now, and then at this point, at each of those five marks, we're going to draw a diameter right through the center of our circle. And in this way, we're going to have five different points. Next, we're going to adjust our compass radius one more time so that it's the same distance around each of those points. So I'm just checking to make sure that it is indeed the same because we don't want to start drawing our circles and have it not be exactly precise because for this one, you can really see those distortions right away. I've erased all the extra lines and now I'm going to draw those 10 circles around our original circle. This is going to give us our first 10-fold symmetry. Just be sure that as you're drawing each of those circles, they do indeed go between those two different arcs that you originally drew around your circle. At this point, we're going to extend our radius so that it goes between two center points. So it's a nice big circle. And then we're going to go to those same 10 points and we're going to draw these larger circles. So you're basically going to have a smaller circle enclosed within a larger circle. But once you do this all around your original circle, you're going to get some spectacular 10 fold symmetry. Once you're done, you can erase extra marks, but I did want to count them up just to make sure that I didn't miss a circle. And then at this point, we can start to color it in or watercolor. Now I've left all of our original circles, including the very first one that we did, but you can erase certain ones or you can just color in certain ones if you want. Now I've got all of my distress inks ready to go. These are just ink pads that I have smushed down onto a non-porous surface. I've added some water as well as some shimmer and just different art products that I have in order to do this. You can do this with color pencils. For our geometry main lesson block, my son is doing the same project, only he's using color pencils for his design. I really like the way that the watercolors look, but they do take a little while. You have to be really careful to stay within the lines so that you can get that nice symmetry coming through. Now, I did this twice, once as the tutorial and once as the lesson that I did with my son. And while both of them are pretty similar, I am showing you how this one looks in the end. This is the one that I did with my son, and I did color them in a little bit differently. And however you color them in or watercolor them in, you're going to have a unique design when you're done depending on which portions you leave blank or just how you decide to watercolor them in. So I want to show you both variations because they are both stunning and beautiful and yet unique in their own way. If you'd like to see some of the other tutorials in this geometry series, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more tutorials as well as information on all the materials that we used. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram.